this is why you need to drop the smoke. You need to drop the weeds. See, I battled with weed addiction, smoking that marijuana, smoking that devil's lettuce for years. I started smoking at around the age of 12 or 13. I can't remember. I remember I would sneak into my dad because my dad had a whole bunch of weed and I'd sneak in, grab it from the drawer and I'd roll it up in some like toilet paper or paper towels and stuff and smoke it. I was like 12 or 13 and thought I was all cool and stuff, right? And then I got super, super into weed between the ages of 16 and 18 years old. I was smoking like seven blunts to the face to myself. I would smoke ounces on ounces super hippie super stoner i was smoking a crazy amount of weed and even after that at 18 years old i realized i needed to get my life together i realized i need to stop smoking so guess what i did i stopped smoking but it took me another two years or so to completely stop smoking marijuana it took me another two years to completely stop smoking marijuana after i said i was gonna stop so I, I, wherever you are in your journey of smoking cigarettes, weed, alcohol, whatever vice, right? This is for all vices, but especially for weed, marijuana, that smoke, right? Yeah, it's a journey for sure, but this is the message here today to tell you that you are holding yourself back. You are killing your health. You're destroying your health. You're destroying your self-discipline. You are being a disservice to God, a disservice to yourself, and a disservice to your family and friends because you are not being the best version of yourself when you're smoking that smoke. I'll tell you from experience, from not only my own personal experience, but what I've seen with hundreds of other men, my friends, or used to be friends, my old friends, when, and they continue to smoke weed. And I can tell you they're not in the same place because there's scientifically scientific studies that show that marijuana, that smoke, lowers your IQ. It kills your brain cells. So you're literally becoming slower, becoming stupid. That's not gonna help you make more money. That's not gonna help you build a business. That's not gonna help you build financial freedom for your family. That's not, and smoke, marijuana destroys your lungs. It's not gonna help you live longer and have a longer health span or lifespan for your girlfriend, for your wife, for your kids, for your family, for your mother, your brother, your sister, your father, your friends. It's not gonna allow you to have the most impact in this world because weed destroys your self-discipline and makes you comfortable. It destroys your health. Your health span's gonna go down. You're gonna be in worse health years earlier than you could if you didn't smoke and you're gonna die sooner because you smoked and you're <laughs> because you have less discipline it's gonna hold you back man i'll tell you man when i started smoking weed when i was smoking weed versus when i wasn't smoking weed my discipline was way better when i wasn't smoking weed all right when i was smoking weed I had no discipline, especially when it came to nutrition. I would eat whatever, 10, 20 pounds. I'd be lazy, I'd sleep. Uh, my work ethic was down a drain. I'll tell you, man, weed, weed destroyed a lot of things for me, especially when between 16 and 18 years old, it really, it really sucked for me, bro. It really sucked for me because what happened was, uh, I was playing basketball, right? I was a basketball superstar. And when I started smoking a weed a lot between 16 and 18 years old, right? It ruined my basketball career, right? I was a basketball superstar, leading scorer, started varsity, freshman, sophomore year, junior year, right? I started smoking my junior year, like heavy. I, st I still smoked a little bit here and there, freshman, sophomore year, but I didn't become a stoner, like smoking every day until 16, 17, 18 years old, right? And honestly, my motivation, my mind began to shift, my mindset, my discipline, my drive, all went down the drain. And the only exceptions, the only exceptions you can have to this rule are like drug dealers or like a very, very uh, small fraction of like rappers, all right? And some of you guys, uh, you young kids, if you think you're gonna be a rapper, and do that fine if you love rap do it but don't don't let that be an excuse for you to be an alcoholic for you to dr do drugs for you to drink and kill your health and be a terrible role model for other people because drugs are bad stay away from drugs kids right because i used to do that i used to rap 16 17 18 years old right i put i produced three albums three albums like 50 songs right now i was just smoking 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 away promoting that stuff, doing all types of stuff. And honestly, guys, it destroyed a lot of things for me. Weed was a vice that filled in the void, filled in the hole of me 
having the relationships I wanted, having the body I wanted, living the lifestyle I wanted. Even as a young kid, literally all the problems I had with my father. I had so many emotional problems with my father and, and not having friends and not having the lifestyle I wanted, this and that. And I had bad uh, in your environment and your friends are such so important guys because honestly i wouldn't have been doing a lot of the bad stuff i was doing i wouldn't have been smoking and drinking getting blacked out wasted and smoking all that weed if i didn't have the friends that were doing the same exact thing so those were my only friends so obviously i was doing that right but i didn't have the relationships i wanted like our relationships were founded off drugs like the only reason we hung out is the smoke and stuff like this and i'm not saying this is all of you guys but i don't care whatever reason you're doing it if you're smoking weed for the stupid thing, oh, it helps me overcome my pain, oh, it helps me go to sleep, all that bull crap. Weed is just covering up the actual problem. You need to learn how to sleep without using an external substance, right? Same thing, oh, I need to, it helps me eat more. You need to learn to eat more and be disciplined, change your mindset and man up so you can learn how to eat more without using drugs, using weed, right? You guys need to drop that smoke. So if you're 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 25, 30, 35, man, I can't tell you. I've seen, I've seen so many. And the, the, there's a lot of studies on how weed and alcohol affects the brain. Your brain will not continue to develop <laughs> once you start using that substance. So there's a lot of 35 year olds, 40 year olds, 45 year olds watching this video and you're still smoking and drinking and you still have a similar mindset as you did when you were 15 or 20 when you started drinking and smoking. That's the honest truth. I've seen it with my own father. I've seen it with my father's friends in their 30s and 40s. But because they drink and smoke every day, your brain only develops to, to that level, right? So if you start drinking at 15 years old every single day, your brain will not continue to develop. So even when you're 40, you're still gonna have the same brain as a 15 year old. And sure you have experience and, and you, of course you're gonna learn stuff, but some of the parts of your brain, you can look up the studies, are not going to develop from the moment you start drinking and smoking, right? And plenty of studies to show that weed is gonna kill you, right? And so my advice for you guys is to stop, drop the smoke, right? You need to get rid of the dealers, you need to kick it to the side, you need to block all those dealers off your phone, you need to get rid of those friends and start surrounding yourself with winners, people who have the body you want, the mindset you want, the results you want, the business, the money, the impact, the relationships, right? You need to surround yourself with those guys, those people, even if you have to do what I did and pay for coaches, pay for mentors, pay to go to events and programs, right? Because a lot of, you gotta surround yourself with different people if you wanna become different. You're the top, some of your top five friends, right so be very careful with who you choose to hang around with because that's the level of money you're going to make that's the body you're going to have that's the life you're going to live so be very careful on who you hang around with bro right so get rid of the dealer block them off your phone get rid of those friends start hanging around different people all right you need to break your bongs throw away all your blunt wraps you need to get rid of all of your weed you need to get rid of all that stuff right and realize it's going to be it, I hope, I, I pray to God that you're able to cut it cold turkey like I was with alcohol. But alcohol didn't have nearly as much of a grip on me, right? I was, I think since 18 years old, I got blacked out wasted. I started drinking like regularly, decently, not every single day, but from 15 to 18, right? But 16, 17, 18, I, would, I had drink a lot on the weekends, got blacked out wasted, drank 40s, go to parties, right? I had plenty of experience, right? And since 18 years old, right? I've only drinking a couple times. I've been drinking since I turned 21, right? I've been drinking alcohol since I've been legally allowed to drink alcohol. So alcohol never had nearly as much of a grip on me, mainly because my dad was an alcoholic and I saw alcohol destroyed his life. So even when I was getting blacked out, wasted and getting crazy drunk from like 15 to 18, going party and this and that, I knew at 18 years old, that I, I, I knew I knew I never was gonna drink every day. I knew that for a fact, right? And at 18 years old, I said, I gotta cut this out. So since 18, maybe only less than half a dozen times, right? Between like one and five times, can't even remember. And uh, and then uh, weed, weed, I quit at 18, but it took me a good solid two years to quit. Between 18 and 20, I probably still smoked 
24 times, probably on average once a month, right? And every single time I smoked, I knew within my soul, I knew within my consciousness, I needed to stop. I knew I, knew I needed to stop drinking or just stop smoking. I knew I didn't like myself. My mindset wasn't right. It's a psychedelic. I was seeing things, I was hearing things. Um, I was lazy. I just sleep, I would eat. I lose all my motivation and I would just feel guilty and ashamed because I knew I wanted to stop. I knew it wasn't good for me and me. It wasn't allowing me to step into my greatness and full potential. So after a good solid two years, finally quit. And I've been smoking in years now, right? I've been smoking in years, right? So it might be a process for you, but you could continue just to follow this content. And if there's a will, there's a way. You can find your way. You can do it. Right, I believe in you, you got this. And I just highly encourage you make the decision to step into your greatness and step into your full potential and focus on things that build you and make you more of a man and develop you in your future and your life so you can be the man that God calls you to be, be the best man you can be for your family and stop, stop, do, you owe you, right? You need to be a better version of yourself for yourself too, right? So weed, alcohol, drugs, partying, all that bull crap is not going to build anything for you. It's not building your mindset, your body, your discipline, your money, your legacy, your impact. It's not building your family. It's not building anything. It's actually destroying it. All right. You heard it's destroying it, bro. It's destroying it. So stop destroying you. You owe you. You owe it to God. You owe it to your family. You owe you. So get your head out of your ass. All right. And drop the smoke, drop the weed, drop the alcohol, drop the drugs. All right, guys, this is Devin Kripe. Coach DC, the greatest coach in the world. You can find me on all platforms at Devin Kripe, D E V E N C R I P E. All right, you can click the links below for free resources, right? And follow me on all social media platforms Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube. My podcast is DC Health Fitness by Devin Kripe on Spotify. You can find me at Rumble at Devin Kripe as well. Right, follow me there for daily motivation, daily mindset, daily fitness, nutrition to help you become your best and step into your greatness and your full potential. All right, I'll see you guys next time. God bless. Peace. Let's go.